Good night, fellow punters. The clock on the wall says nine minutes past nine on Tuesday night. I'm still down in the land of rebels on cute car cores. I was talking to one there on the phone a while ago. He's out in Douglas. I was wondering, would he give me a pull with a cow? I was joking with him. But he's uh, he's on crutches. Matt, uh, I don't know what happened to him because uh, I was afraid to ask him because you wouldn't believe the Lord's Prayer for him at times. He'd only tell you what you'd want to know, man. Matt and Mary, I'd have called them Mark and Mindy. Look, one looking after the other. Great couple, though, but I'll meet them again soon. Uh, I might call the next of them down in this neck of the woods. In the Blarney Castle Hotel, a grand spot altogether. Very quiet. Good crowd in the pub there last night. I had two pints of Guinness. The finest of stuff, like mother's milk. A five or a pop. I could have had two gallons of them. But I had to stop at two. Bed around half eleven. Uh, walk at about half two, quarter to three. Walk again about half four five o'clock and got up at half six down for breakfast before eight o'clock um, there was only one man going around taking the orders and uh, he was mad for dishing out coffee and i just said to him i said give me the orange juice and my cornflakes first and then bring the coffee with later from me so the other three joined me then um the woman of the party is a vegan so she was ordering a bit of rabbit food and, and uh, strawberries and fruit and stuff and she had something else. So the young lad um, wanted something uh, off the menu as well. And uh, the next thing, when uh, the man of the party, he said, no mushrooms. And the man said, he looked at him and he said, I better write down this. <laughs> so that was before he came to me. He was expecting probably that four full Irish breakfast, like, you know, like, the other table came in after and there was eight full Irish breakfast. That was it. No need for paper at all or nothing. But our table was a bit different. So, uh, but he was very slow coming back with the stuff. Uh, but anyway, we're going down in the morning at a quarter to eight instead of 20 past eight because we'll be out of Dodge early in the morning heading for the kingdom. But we had a great day today, a long day. But uh, we, um, one of the first things I asked them yesterday morning when they got into the... Uh, into the vehicle i said is there any special request you have during the week or is there any particular place you want to go tell me now and i'll arrange it in my head for the week so um the woman or uh, he said uh, could we go by waterford and i says when and he says uh, today and i says on the way to cork you want to go to waterford i said what do you want to go to waterford for he says to look at crystal <laughs> i said you look at it someplace else but you won't be looking at it in waterford today so i brought them around this morning to uh the Blarney uh, Mills uh, shop. It's the biggest Irish shop in the world. And uh, what a shop. We went around there, so we got a spot at Waterford Crystal and I introduced them to that corner. And uh, they looked at a globe. Now, they had no interest in buying it when they seen the price of it, but there was a lovely Waterford Crystal globe. €13,995. Euros. So uh, they asked me what I thought of it, and I just said if I had fourteen k to spend like that, I'd... I see other reasons of doing it. I see the leg in a harsh or maybe a small harsh. But um, they bought a few bits and pieces anyway. And uh, I got them uh, to buy a Pogue Mahone. It's a, a car plate. They didn't know what Pogue Mahone meant. But they, they'll know now. Kiss my ass. But uh, we headed in for Kinsale. Just some narrow streets there, I'll tell you. Um, going up... Um, up to Charles Fort, went up there afterwards, and but a good walk around the Kinsale. They were delighted with that. Um, Charles Fort, then very impressed. The Spanish Armada landed there was the sixteen oh one, and uh, they were delighted with that as well. Um, they didn't do any of the walk, and they, they haven't paid it for anything yet. Even the castle there this morning because it take too long. They just want to keep on the move. So we went from there to. Uh, Tame League, where the Lusitania uh, was, and then Court McSharry. We went to Clonny Kilty. We had, the, we had lunch, but it was after three o'clock. We had the dinner in uh, Clonny Kilty. Um, there was nothing vegan on the menu, so she had some sort of a pizza, and the, the, they had pizza as well. I had the first time ever I had gravy on my bacon, bacon but there's no cabbage with it. There was, um, it was all right. It was. Uh, Carrots and and broccoli, good feed, and uh, then we headed for Skibbereen, and they went into uh, the heritage centre there. They had a good time. The there was soup kitchens and stuff uh, that were being described or uh, explained to them, 
I went off and had to get um, diesel because the fuel car to have only there's only Circle K accepts it. So I had to get it. Uh, uh, I did. I was I was getting low because I I went off to get. Um, I put twenty quid in and cash myself, and then I found another spot. And we came back. Then uh, we got Bill and the Blog coming back. Came back through Dun Manuel, and uh, it was uh, it was nearly seven o'clock when we went back. So a good day. So they're enjoying themselves big time. That's the main thing, and uh, we're having a good old laugh as well. So Mary, my uh, woman on the dash. She's that's where I've christened her for um, on the Google Maps. We fell out a couple of times today, but we didn't fall out too bad. She was sending me the wrong way a couple of times up by roads and lanes. It could be the shortest way, but were were too dangerous and twisty and windy roads. But uh, we thought I was saying that we were going to be ambushed, but um, good good crack anyway. It's going well, but uh, I'm getting used to it now. Anyway, oh, we were two horses today. I put up in twos this morning. I was a bit disappointed that your man uh, didn't kick for home sooner because we had won at him before at um, a mile and a half and, and uh, he left it up to the horse with the better toe. Um, but uh, where are we here? Oh, I have two for tomorrow and I might be adding one again in the morning. Uh, again, uh, there's a mile and a half uh, class three, three-year-old only race tomorrow. And um, Masai Mara. If you look at this lads forum, it's by Rorden Line, well bred, uh, out of a hurricane run mare. But he had three runs last year to get a mark of eighty. One first time out in Kimptons, and that was just over eleven furlongs, nearly a, you know over a mile and a half, and. Second then in uh, Kempton again to Kapawa, Tagabawa. Um but he 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 outstayed them in a in a a good race in, in uh, Ascot on soft ground and he beat Westerton and Westerton came out again the next time then and won uh, by four and a half lengths. He's a d and Westerton was six to four favourite in that race, but um oh, I don't say it's no internet again, is there? Um, I know is this recorded or not? Inside the final furlong back to balance. That's why I say is coming on the outside. From his second silver sword balance made up towards the line. Torito is impressive. Draws clear. Three or four to silver sword second balance play. They finish fourth. I know whether this is recorded or not. I'll keep going and try and put it up anyway. The other one is in Carlisle tomorrow. Uh, wait, wait, let's see what time is it at. 4.50. No. The four fifty. It's a uh, Lady Onyx. Um. Lady Onyx, which uh, for Johnny Murta, but it was third. Well, let's try and grab it quick here. Just that's a who we're all together. Um. It ran the last time in uh, in Musselburgh, but a hundred and six rated horse won it. A hundred and two was second, and that was only a length and three quarters behind. But it beat Fast Response, our horse in a race one hundred and three. Uh, that's only a second lifetime run. Have a look back at that uh, video. It was in. Uh, but to put up this, I don't know if this is going to work or not now, but uh, that's how we're all together.
Bash the bookies over and out. I might add one in the morning if it does.